Hello everyone, today we have uh, 2020 uh, Honda Accord. As you can see in the dashboard, we have some uh, light and some fault. So when you, when we scan the car, we have the ABS system C0034 and Z005161. And uh, of course is related to the ABS, which is ABS uh, electronic power steering. VSA malfunction system and uh, U0416-68 VSA and of course it's going to be the integrated driver support system IDS uh, which is communication fault C0034 and uh, so what I will do is just to make sure all right so that's uh, 2020 right here all right, so we're gonna go ahead first. Uh, after I wanna take a look under the hood, make sure, make sure everything is connected and it's not uh, broken wire before I clear the hood. Let's go up. Check the ABS. Nothing broke. All the wire is good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, clear, and whatever is left over, we're gonna go ahead one by one. So this will take a little bit of time, because sometimes it's uh, history and uh, it's not current fault. So basically I will go ahead first, after when I make sure the fuse is good and all the relay uh, in place and it's good connection. After when I do a uh, fuse check under the hood and fuse check over here under the steering wheel. And uh, I start to find one by one. So I have a little bit less code, but I will go ahead and get this one. So right from wheel sensor circuit failure, that means uh, could be the sensor itself uh, because this car has an accident in the front side. So I will check the sensor and uh, VSA system malfunction. We're gonna go ahead and do this. So this way you fix it one by one. And okay, uh, let's see if we have a special function. Uh, steering wheel is uh, action. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. <coughs> First, you need to get the steering wheel straight. Let's start the car. Okay. Car start. And we're gonna do. Okay, get the car straight. So the car, is, the car is three, but the steering wheel is not. So hopefully I will send this car to do alignment, wheel alignment first before I do anything. And then I'll come back. Yes, uh, 2020 on the Accord. And uh, okay. And let's see if we get connected. And uh, 16 pin. You'll see. Right. All right, so it's 2020. And as we said uh, before, that we will need to do wheel alignment first before I, I, I learn the uh, steering wheel sensor. As you can see, I have my steering wheel straight in the car and the wheel is not straight so i need to get this aligned first and after the alignment we're gonna do this as you can see the rest of the video we have some codes and uh, maybe i'm gonna do the second part for the fix and learn the process uh, okay so see you in the second video then after after you watching the rest of the video with the code
Okay, guys. Okay, so we come back after the the wheel alignment. We get the steering wheel straight. We need to make sure the our wheel straight in the right position. Okay. And we do health check. Yeah, please. All right. Okay, so we got the ABS right front wheel sensor, circuit failure, short to ground or open. That means the front right to wheel sensor, the speed sensor is not connected or something wrong with the wire. And uh, lower pressure can communication failure with absolute steering wheel angle sensor. So let's uh, fast system malfunction bar steering so let's go with bar steering first and we hit enter okay it gave you the medial information create fault code and the system malfunction we're gonna head back and we're gonna go special function uh, okay steering wing here Steering and position learning. Steering, ABS steering angle sensor value clear. All right, so we're gonna do a learning first. Uh, start the engine, ensure that DTC are stored in the ABS control and steering position is center. Okay, so center and the wheel is straight. We're gonna go ahead, access denied. DTC have been detected, turn ignition off. Okay, turn ignition on with the engine off. Okay, ABS. Okay, clear. All right, so this axis the light. So let's go back and we clear the coach. Sometimes if you have a code, it doesn't let you do anything. Okay. And grease fault code. No trouble code. Now you can go back. Special function. And okay. Access the light. Engine is not running. Start the engine. Turn the ignition switch off. Off. Turn the ignition switch on. Okay. Learning has been completed. All right. Let's go back. And whatever the bend in the in the steering sensor is not learned. Uh, all right. So do health report. It will take some time, hit OK, shift to neutral. So this, it will take a little bit of time. I will pause the video and come back after when this can become like 100%. And uh, from the beginning, we see like the ABS has some fault. And uh, I will pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, we'll come back after the scanning. So we have the IDA. IDAS, which is Integrated Driver Support System. It gave me ABS control unit malfunction for the electronic brake. Right front wheel sensor signal error, which is, we already know that, steering angle sensor malfunction. And VSA modulator control unit, VSA brake actuator. So let's go in, in the IDAS system. Okay, that's ECU module. And uh, let's see if we can clear the code first before we do anything. Okay. All right. Let's read the code. No trouble code. So like this, you make sure when you do any special function, 
it will accept it without no problem okay so radar aiming this structure requires brush chasing of IDS advanced driving system calibration device and activating please contact your dealer if you want to purchase it okay so this is not active function and it need <coughs> it read uh, okay so let's go back all right so the IDS is already go back for the ABS control unit quiet communication okay all right read fault hold it's gonna be front right sensor again and right front wheel sensor circuit of a low tire pressure can communication failure with absolute steering wheel angle sensor so let's clear the code okay switch ignition off switch ignition on Okay. All right. So it's all good. Low tire pressure, which is okay. Uh, special function. Hail sensor, brake bad, maintenance mode, deflation, warning system. Uh, all sensors. This function calibrate all sensor of the system for details refer to the surface manual. It checks that the following condition are fulfilled start engine for ABS working. There are no TTC except for the sensor calibration. It stops the vehicle. Do you wish to continue? Yes. So please execute steering operation according to the following steps. Slowly turn steering wheel 90 degrees to the left. Slowly, okay. So. We're gonna do this once at a time. That's for the learning process. Okay. Uh, slowly turn steering wheel 90 degrees to the left. Okay, 90 degrees to the left. Slowly turn steering wheel 180 degrees to the right. Slowly turn steering wheel 180 degrees to the left. Slowly turn 90 degrees. Press OK button after completing the operation okay so we have the straight so we're gonna do 90 degrees to the left and 90 degrees and the second slowly turn 180 degrees so 180 degrees is gonna be 90 and then 90 so it's 180 and then turn slowly 100 degrees 180 degrees to the left so 90 and then 90 so it's 180 and then slowly turn steering wheel 90 degrees to the right so we're gonna 90 degrees which is become to the normal position okay brace okay after completing the operation all right we're gonna hit okay since we calibration in progress room condition retry since we calibration in this area okay again reassemble prepare around since we calibration okay Turn ignition off. Turn ignition on. Operation has failed. That means we have a bad sensor. Bad steering wheel angle sensor. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, read the false code. Low tire pressure. Okay. One more. So we end up with a bad system malfunction, ABV electronic brake booster. Let's get in there. All right. Uh, read fault code. Bad system, okay. And clear fault code. Okay. All right. Read fault code, not lower code. Let's see if this code is gonna come back again. Go back. So we end up with a low tire pressure. Uh, what I will do is just clear 
everything. Because I think I, I still need to calibrate the passenger seat because I have the passenger airbag blinking off on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear everything. some time to clear all the system faults. Alright. And please scan. Alright, I will pause the video and come back after the scan is done.